Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here. Today, in this video, first official video of 2024, brand new intro means a whole new year of brand new videos. This one, I wanted to look at the products that I'm most excited to see in the upcoming year, but at the same time, I wanted to just quickly reflect on some of the cool products that we saw in the year just gone, 2023. I felt like there was manufacturers out there that had incredible launches and releases of brand new products. One that sticks out is gonna be Sherwood Hockey. I feel like they've come back in a really, really big way. Every product that they've been dropping since their kind of rebranding, relaunch, has been significantly better than the product that they released previously, which is not something that always happens in hockey. You can give me a couple of examples in the comment section if you like, but of course, I know it's not realistic for a brand to drop a product every single year that is 10 times better than the one they just released. It's why we create VS videos so you can see if the brand new product warrants the upgrade or if it makes sense for you to stick with the previous gen or previous season product and save yourself some money. But Sherwood, that's definitely not the case with what they've been doing. It's been improvements, big improvements, every single launch that they had in 2023. Of course, another company, True Hockey, definitely get a mention in terms of their skates. We've discussed their sticks in previous videos. That's a bit hit and miss, but we're going to be explaining why that's going to be a big, big improvement or change going into this year 2024. But True Hockey with the hazardous range of skates, really big fan of those. If you guys have watched these videos for a while, you know that I'm a bigger fan of the Catalyst range of skates, which launched just before 2023. But of course, I have to mention those as well because Plain and simply, I just love them, so they get a shout. Um, and of course, there, I'm not gonna miss Bauer, even though you guys think that I give them a hard time. I give them a hard time because you can't call yourselves the leaders in an industry and not be seen to be leading in that industry. That's that's the only reason I give them a hard time. If they didn't call themselves that, I'd be a lot nicer, I'd be a lot softer on them, but I don't have an issue with them. Now, the Hyperlite entire range, I'm not a fan of, but the Supreme in terms of the Mark skates, the Ultrasonic skates, I've mentioned this in countless videos, massive, massive fan of those products. I think they're phenomenal. The Mark skates are gonna be the signature drop that Bauer had in 2023 that I consider the best thing that they did that year. That's my opinion. Comment down below if you think that that's different, but I can't go anywhere without mentioning Bauer because at the end of the day, they do release great products. There's just occasions where I feel like the quality of what they have been releasing can slip and also the consistency can slip, but the Mark and the Supreme line in general has always been a really big win for myself. Now, of course, I'm not going to move on without mentioning CCM. Big fan of the FT6 Pro skates. I feel like those were probably one of the strongest skate releases of the year. People have mixed opinions about that, but I kind of feel like the tech, the fit, the performance, even the look kind of speaks for itself. So uh, let me know what you think the major releases of 2023 were. Of course, I'm also not going to forget things like the stick releases that we saw that were really significant. Warrior Hockey is a brand that we're going to do what we can to feature more of this year. But if we can't get access to their products, we cannot review them. It's as simple as that. We shot a video where you saw me and Tommy go into a couple of hockey stores and we couldn't find our spec. So it's not us avoiding Warrior products from the channel. It's just, if we can't get it, we can't review it. It's as simple as that. You still don't, you don't think it's worth featuring just because of the curve? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay. And also this is mid kick video and low kick video. So. Okay, at least people can see. You guys can see. We're not doing it for the sake of cutting it out. If, they, if it was a W28, we might have, you know, we probably would have featured it, but it's just not fair. Because okay. instantly I'm not going to like it because it's a different curve. Okay. Um, from there, Bowers Proto R Stick and also CCM's FT uh, Ghost, those definitely have to get mentioned because those were some of the biggest stick releases that we saw of 2023. Now, looking at 2024, what am I most eager to get my hands on? What am I excited to try out? NHL season is still cracking away, and we've seen a lot of products that are going to be dropping over the next few months already there. Some of the standout ones is going to be the Shadow Skates from Bauer. That's probably the, one of the most obvious ones that we've seen time and time again. I feel like it's very difficult to see what's changed on a product just based off of a couple of snapshots. You need to get the product in your hands. Uh, you need to have full access to catalog so you can see what's really changed, what's been added, what's been taken away. But I'm definitely excited to see how much of an improvement those are when we compare them to the Mark Skates. And of course, I know we missed the Mark review. I just felt like we kind of jumped on that a bit later than I wanted to. And I didn't think the video would be worth posting so late into the year, but I will definitely be doing Mark versus Shadow. So you can look out for that. So over the course of the next year, I'm really going to be excited to see what those brand new Supreme skates are going to be like. Now, next up from that isn't so much a product, but it's going to be a change. 
We've gotten word of True Hockey using a brand new stick factory to manufacture their sticks, which is going to provide their products with a lot more consistency, which is probably one of the key things that we discussed with um, previous videos that we filmed on their pro on their sticks specifically. Not really their skates, but their sticks. The consistency, not in terms of the performance, but in terms of the durability. So this, it doesn't sound on the surface like a big deal, but it is a massive deal, completely shifting from one manufacturing uh, location to another. But it goes without saying that moving from one manufacturer to another in terms of changing the factory that makes your products is gonna have a big impact on the general durability of their sticks. I'm really excited to see how that is gonna come into play with whatever they release in the upcoming months that we have or even if it's going to be the same products that they have now just built to a higher standard with uh, more attention to detail in terms of the durability so i'm really excited for that and of course as i mentioned at the start of the video with true hockey hazardous range essentially just dropped so i don't really expect to see a refresh of that anytime soon but what I do expect to see a refresh of is the Catalyst range of skates, which you guys know are probably one of my favorite pair of skates or range of skates that I have had access to, period. I'm a big fan of the Cat 9s, and if those skates are going to be getting a refresh in 2024, I'm very, very keen to see how they're going to improve on what they have already. I know the look of those skates wasn't something that everyone loved, but for me, the look and the performance were phenomenal. I've mentioned it numerous times. Those skates on my feet, if I'm on the eyes for four or five hours, I don't have any issues, which is a huge huge, huge deal. So True Hockey and also Bauer, excited to see what they have coming in the new year. Now from there is going to be one that I don't think everyone is aware of, and that's going to be Graf. There's some interesting things happening with Graf. Um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to create a video that kind of explains everything that's going on with Graf Hockey in more detail, but I'm very, very excited to see Graf make a, a real kind of big jump back into the spotlight. I'm interested to see what they're going to be creating, how they're going to separate themselves from the brands that already exist. If you go back a few years, Graf were a massive, massive major player in skate manufacturing. A lot of key players were using their skates. And I kind of feel like it's almost like True took over from what Graf were doing, kind of. Some of you might agree, some of you might disagree. I'm not saying in terms of the way the products looked, but just how bespoke the products were. Now, of course, True Hockey is a completely separate thing to what Graf, like the way True makes their skaters, totally different to the way that Graf does. But I just felt like it was that kind of bespoke brand that was doing things that the other major brands just weren't doing. I feel like True's filled that space. So I'm really interested to see how Graf is gonna make uh, essentially like a re-entry into hockey in 2024, but more on that will come later down the line. Now from there, there's also of course CCM. We've seen a bunch of the tax skates being leaked online. Um, myself and Tommy have actually messed around with those skates already and there is, there is so much that I wanna cover on that. There is so much I wanna cover on that. I'm very excited to be able to kind of break down what's new, what's been added, what's you know been maybe subtracted. It's going to be a very interesting uh, review that we'll have coming on the new CCM tax gates. Uh, as soon as we're able to drop that video, we will. I know a lot of people are talking about them on Instagram and also in forums and on YouTube, uh, but we're really excited to get our hands on those in front of the camera and show you what's changed when we look at new versus old. But that's one that I'm definitely excited for. It goes without saying that I'm a bigger fan of the Jet Speed range of skates than I am the Tax. I feel like the Jet Speed just works better for me, but I'm still very excited to show you what's changed with the brand new Tax skates. So that's definitely on the radar, just so you guys are aware. And of course, on the subject of CCM, again, Jet Speed Stick, FT6 Pro was the previous gen. We've seen images floating around of the new. I'm making my, uh, I'm, I'm doing my best effort not to mention any names, although you guys of course know what they are. Um, I'm trying to be as delicate as I can be because we don't want to give any information that we're not permitted to give. Uh, but safe to say that of course, that's going to be another one as well. We've seen images floating around of various colors of these sticks, of course, videos will be coming again. We have seen them in the flesh. We have messed around with them. And as soon as we're able to drop those videos, those will be coming. But if there's anything else that I might've missed from CCM or some of the other brands that I've mentioned, comment down below and let me know. And also let me know what you're excited to see or get your hands on in 2024. Now, another interesting one. I did ask you guys on Instagram what you were interested or excited to get your hands on for the new year. Um, I'll post some of the comments on screen so you can see. Now, one of you guys mentioned the guy that made the Mako skates, something kind of coming from them. I don't know how much has been said publicly or where that comes from. Um, I'm not sure what we can say, but that's definitely something I am interested to see. Dakosi? 
definitely interested to see where that goes. Uh, but moving on from there, Sherwood is going to be another brand that I'm excited to see pretty much anything from in the new year, whether it be protective, whether it be sticks. I'm just pumped to see what that company comes out with, because like I said earlier on in the video, they've been killing it. And I'm super stoked to see what's going to be coming next from Sherwood. So they're a big one that I've got my eye on. Um, and lastly, before we end this, is going to be Warrior. We've heard whispers, um, we've heard rumors, we've seen lots of different conversations, people um, discussing behind the scenes about the Warrior skates. Now, we don't know much. I'm not going to pretend like we've seen anything or that we've heard anything, but if that's something that does come to fruition this year, we're going to be very excited to give you the information as soon as we have it and as soon as we can perhaps get access to those skates. But th those are kind of like the main things that I'm, I'm excited for, for, for 2024. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't know how quickly all of it's going to be released or how quickly we're going to be able to make the videos but of course just make sure that you're subscribed make sure you keep an eye on the channel because when we do have them we will drop those videos as quickly as we possibly can but if i've missed anything out any brands that i might be unaware of any products that i might not have seen kind of like teased in the nhl with players using them comment down below and let me know let me know what you're excited to see what you might have already seen what you're excited to get your hands on for this year and as always guys a big thank you for all of the support you've shown us in 2023 we've got some awesome videos coming in 2024 one thing i'm going to be making a big conscious effort to focus on is the videos that we used to film just a few years ago before covid where we went on kind of like storytelling missions where we've you know we've done stuff with the creator of titan sticks we've done and stuff with um, the guys in Finland that um, have saved the pond hockey campaign. Uh, when we've gone to other countries and shot documentaries about communities that play hockey that you'd never expect to play hockey, all of these types of videos are going to be coming back in 2024. I really want to go back to telling stories, making mini documentaries that got me excited and, you know, are part of the reason why I still make these videos today. But uh, let me know what you're excited to see content wise on the channel. Um, and th thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.